Good morning everyone, and this time really kind of morning, and welcome to the next episode of Tech One In, where we dissect uh, all uh, web servers for limited profits, and uh, trying to learn something on the way. And last time, uh, we finished with a major progress of getting our Ultras profile to work, so... Uh, here on production, actually, if we click an outer, um, we will not see anything because uh, we have sent the pull request, but I haven't actually deployed it. Uh, so this is how uh, I would start today. And I... Yeah, I've been reading uh, the diff from Nostalgia. And uh, by skimming and not a proper cold review, I haven't found anything that was obviously bad. Uh, so let's merge and deploy that. And uh, this time I'm not going to rebase the branch, uh, but instead continue there. Uh, since we are uh, iterating uh, on the outers. Uh, so... Let me start the code, actually. Maybe you need it. And uh, let me turn off my stream check sound so you don't hear myself twice. Um, all right, so this, this is how it looked. Um, very slightly different than the original version, uh, which... Uh, let me show. So in the original version, it is uh, in a table. And it doesn't show the amount of stars. It shows only the number, uh, I assume, rounded. And... Um, yeah, I, I think that since we have a whole page dedicated, I think that having that as a headings makes more sense. I'm trying to think, uh, I mean, this looks ugly, but um, that's also because the design of that is kind of ugly. Um, I do wonder how it looks for someone who doesn't have uh, that much of uh, articles with so long heading. Let's take a look. For example, here. Yeah, when it's more structured, it looks much better. Um, I would maybe. Stay with that. But um, one thing that I haven't done last time uh, is that uh, when we have the various, uh, uh huh, uh, in um, various creative pages, uh, some of them lead to other profile uh, and only. Clunky, I have redirected to uh, the new author's profile. So let's start by making that consistent. Um, let's just take a look at our tests are still passing. Well, take you while. Okay, never mind. Um, but. Um, what I have done in common article list is that author is now replaced with author display tag, which means it's also um, 
easier to modify in the future. Uh, so in here, everywhere. Let's uh, look for outer and replace it carefully. Um, because it was done slightly differently in uh, every section since we have um, since we have unfortunately used different designs and different uh, articles. The next painful thing um, compared to that, that will maybe not, you're not even was uh, was streaming is to figure out the rest of the skins, um, and that may be painful to watch uh, since I'm still completely unable to do any reasonable CSS. guys as it starts and is just yeah that doesn't have the same so I'm on localhost so nothing explicitly breaks links go to the new directions Logger is not defined in creations. Okay. This is why we test in productions data. But how come? Right, because uh, in other cases, we haven't hit that uh, logging branch. So, um, let me put it here. Okay. And what we are logging. Okay, so this will require more thinking. Um, before I do that, uh, let's finish the deploy. Uh, so we have to run the migrate on Heroku. And hope it will not cause issues. Uh, 
Oh, this is going to be fun. See? This. Ooh, um. Okay, never mind. Let me make sure that I'm doing that on the same code base. So uh, let's see whether this can be resolved quickly. And if yes, uh, commit it and switch to master. Um, if not, then I'll stash it. Uh, so normalize must be string and not none. Sure, how it happened that none got there. Because we got profile without profile URL. Um, so that's in template tags. So we were able to get an outer. That's for profile URL return to none. So I can look up what's that in database. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, well, actually, um, um, okay. Apparently doing this with uh, de debugging enabled is going to be a slight pain in the ass. Um, but ID is this. Okay. Unknown type none. So, oh for fuck's sake. So, outer type is none, apparently. While user is all unknown. Website doesn't exist. Website email also not. Neat. So let's see whether that's the case for database as well. Um, so select star from outer over ID is this guy. And it's anonymous user type. It doesn't have a nick. Oh, I know. Uh, no, <laughs> I thought it's the the. Charfield doesn't translate, but what makes me wonder is that how come the anonymous user type, it has a type A, but it doesn't get translated as anonymous user type. And it is raising unknown type none. Oh, 
although there is a in the database. Am I like having a bad choices map or like how, how does this happen? And it works for other types. Also, this could be redone as this being a map and not items in the traces, but it doesn't help with the problems we have, which is... that the type has been read as none. by the model's char field with choices, even though when it's specified during traces. But okay, this requires investigation. So now I can either stash it or commit it. And let me commit actually with, um, it's going to be a feature. Thanks everywhere and um, mark it as whip uh, so we would catch it during code review hopefully and that's number 42 still let's not push it leave it alone uh, go for master uh, let me make sure I'm having all of this. It's not going to be rolled away. So cannot add foreign key constraints. Hmm. Does it, and does it mark the migration as uh, complete? It is the same problem we've had on localhost. And mm. crap. So, uh, uh, some adding some foreign key failed, and uh, uh, but the rest of the migrations were performed since this is not a transaction. So we have end up in an in inconsistent state. But we also should have migrations up until 50. Hello? Okay, now I'm confused. What is deployed? Hmm. 
we should have master there. I mean, if I would fail to commit migrations, Yeah, uh, right. I have switched to my local master. I haven't pulled. Cool. So, um, My feeling is that the outer is created, probably including the one-to-one -one field. Yes, because it doesn't contain any data. And then the foreign keys. Fell somewhere, although we are adding a field. I mean, it, this this runs in this order, so let's see whether Wizards will already has it. Uh, I should be able to run DB shell on Heroku now. Minus the fact we don't have the CLI. Oh. Accessing the shell is actually kind of hard now. And how do I verify it is in the database? Because I can do a shell. I can take a, a wizard spell, but I'm not sure. If just the fact that I take a wizard spell uh, means that the fact that the a Tubert is going to be there. Whether it means it's in the database or it is just the model. But I'm quite sure. Well, actually, it should be because Django is requesting the attributes explicitly. So this seems to end true and we just called code. Got a problem with getting the one of the foreign keys, and it may have been the last one or it may have been the first one. But like, we don't know which connection, um, which query was run. I mean, uh, the other problem actually may be this is, I think, the first time we're running for key constraints. And 
Um, as far as I know, like the actual enforcement of foreign keys. is uh, that we're using my ism and maybe uh, they assume I know DBM. And the guy sorted that out by migrating all to the inodb engine. But I'm not sure what are the consequences. Whether I can easily do that. where we are on older version. Well, yeah, I think that I will If the only problem was uh, is the absence of uh, creation on the of the foreign keys on the model level, uh, then this is fixable. So I'm saying uh, let's fake this one. And by this one, I mean O for eight. And um, let's keep track. And this is actually for the future. This, this uh, is one of the gardens that we should do. So, um, migrate my ism to Rhino DB. This requires all the version to be shut down. Insert class check call out foreign key. All, all, all Um, checking all migrations where we fade creation of foreign foreign keys. Let's keep this in mind where when creating uh, next migrations. Um, you're not to you yet. <laughs> Um, in terms of where I originally wanted to launch, but um, yeah, I'm running behind. Uh, this is for the future, and I'm actually wondering if there isn't uh, a new project that I should do, uh, which will be 
my SQL database migration. And migrate latest version of my SQL. Oh, with labels. There should be a column called done though. Cool. How do I move something to done in this case? Like, never mind. Let me. Hmm. Done goes uh, out of sight, out of mind, I assume. Um. Uh, great. My sequel or this RDS. which will require, well, this is actually going to be a upgrade RDS to most recent compatible version. Because what we need to take into account here is that uh, we are not on the latest jungle. So uh, upgrade to latest RDS support, uh, I mean, latest, latest MySQL supported by the Django we are using, which is 2.2, uh, before the Django upgrade itself is unblocked. because that's going to be like the continuous upgrading that we need to do. Um, so that's definitely infrastructure and this is actually definitely infrastructure as well. All right. With that said, if I go to uh, the production version, I will see all authors being unknown. And the reason for that is that uh, now I need to run the author migration. Let me have T for that. Dramatic pulse. But once that's done, I should be able to go back to that uh, previous data quality issues. Uh, 
which was exactly having anonymous author. Um, I'm thinking whether there is a reasonable way to figure out um, where is it coming from and there of course is since we had particular problem uh, but problem on this particular site so it is in quests and we may be able to figure out which one actually or not Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Little bit good with the filter, okay. So this uh, uh, literally says uh, collection uh, outdoor collective, so. Let's um, so this is anonymous user. Uh, I'm thinking whether there is a reasonable way to test it, but I have a feeling that if I would create it through model, it should get created correctly. Uh, this is a rock run, so it shouldn't be depending uh, on uh, where am I in code. So let's go back to the original branch. Um, one thing that's weird is that it should get uh, the anonymous user nick. Oh, do we have test authors? Yep. So let me test that. Um, author, anonymous author translates. Also, let me actually check that uh, my great authors command. Um, Creation dot alter. I think I have a typo. Yep. This is what it should be. I have been referring to the attributes as opposed to the name, which is the expected confusion here, unfortunately. And I did that because I haven't wanted to use the lowercase name. Okay, shame, I already run this. Um, let me call this to my master directory. Uh, 
Um, well, this and without uh, what I'm doing there in models, I mean tests. So. as well as uh, I mm. and this will need this can be fixed easily actually because you can still empty the outer stable and this sorts out our local problem as well well, no, actually, because that one was about whether there are nicks, whereas uh, this one was about not rec uh, recognizing the animal's outer type. So, do we need pages with? Don't outer can exist as a separate entity. So outer object create and outer type is going to be outer dot uh, anonymous user type, and that's it. And now, uh, test animals uh, type recognized from data. Um, we want the uh, anonymous user type, and let me just be root and put in uh, a. Since if we are going to be changing this, we need to change multiple things and outer objects all so we don't hit uh, instance cache the first one and the outer type should be a so Once we have that one deployed, um, we can delete all outers from the shell. So let's do that, uh, but just verify that it is the case here okay so Right, this is actually not about exception type, this is indeed about it not having a nick. So two things, uh, I would be a bit more defensive here, this shouldn't bring down the whole page. Uh, so. If it doesn't exist, let's put in an empty string. In which
Why is it none though? Um, because we need to do the same with name. And this logic should actually be here. And this is also like a, a additional defense, but Let's refactor this so we have more looks. Um, this also could be an attribute map, but um, Yeah, this is just an alert for us, so we'll need to go fix that manually. Uh, anyway, but yeah. Okay, so this worked, and now let's verify the migration. So. We will go to show and then from uh, models we'll be able to get authors and author objects count will be 1300. And can I do delete on all of that? No. But I should be able to do delete uh, delete on all. And which the count is zero. And after that, I could be able to do the migrate authors. This is exactly why it's a command and uh, not a data migration. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, right, just the test and uh, more defense migration. So I would argue that this can go into the previous commit. And let's just remove the work in progress. And this should be it. All right, so if That doesn't like resuscitating branches. And the reason may be that I may not be replaced on top of Manchester and I have set reverse and merge. So let's see what happens here. Okay, uh, let require slash f. Yeah, there was an actual event. Okay, so this was the case of di diverging branches. Uh, but interestingly enough, 
uh, the git can reconcile hashes with the same content and different hashes. to my tricks land. Okay. Neat. So uh, this is this is actual simplification. We have uh, removed more than we added. I like those. Uh, so let's merge this one and actually work on double this one because it contains more bug fixes. So let's just wait for circle to catch up. Um, how long it took? 2 minutes 16 seconds, okay. We're getting better. Also, today's special episode. I'm not drinking Take One In. Uh, I'm drinking Gaba Olong. Um, I still have to set up that uh, tea drinking block. All right. We're getting closer. So what's up next? Uh, up next is doing those links, I remember. Yeah, canonical links. We do have template stack now. Uh, I think that this Particular outer should be fixed with uh, all the other fixes we have, but let's verify. And um, oh, it has to be the main, right? But I'm not binding to it interface, so let's do good old one. Neat. So this is maybe a warning sign. That I really, really should have a sanity check uh, for all creative pages. And it is going to be not an isolated problem. And the reason is, uh, so this is the danger of copy pasting, as you can see. Um, because since some of those were lists and some of those um, templates were uh, handling individual items, somewhere we are using uh, article and somewhere we're using just a so anywhere uh, where I've been copy pasting a instead of article I'm going to get an error at runtime and that's probably going to be all details as opposed to all lists and uh, let me just write this as a requirement for this because uh, sanity integration check for all creative pages. Uh, and let's say that um, on uh, well, example, I guess example. Uh, on example writings 
So let's fix it now for production. But it is going to be a problem, as you can see. It's not caught. Yeah. Copy pasting is wrong. Don't do copy pasting. Don't be like me. Literally same, those are lists, so they should be fine. This was detail, so it's not fine. Same here. Here and here we are good. Okay. Um. And. <laughs> Wherever we don't have creations, we have to load them. Because it's now required everywhere. I mean, in all lists and all details. And yeah, I thought it's everywhere. But it's not. And was it the only one? Have I been lucky? like it's yeah. okay works it just towards the uh, wrangler from this uh, secure era Okay. Cool. Uh, so uh, fix out the links in all. Details. Um, I'm not sure I'm rebased on top of master again. But seems like I may be. Which is only because I haven't uh, committed the uh, yeah merge this yet, which is an advantage actually now. So okay, let's wait for this. Um, what else was there? a particular author going to unknown um, you know, if I would be using two consoles as I originally intended this wouldn't be a problem it's not unknown anymore so it was fixed in one of those okay
in this case I'm going to make a break. Uh, I hope to make another stream today, but uh, let me use some of the light uh, that's outside. Uh, so once uh, this is done, let me merge it, uh, deploy it, right, and we need to do the full cycle. So merge it, deploy it, and clean outers. So it will still take a while. Well, meanwhile, I can figure out um, whether or not to have a fixture for the sanity check. And I'm actually thinking That may be, yeah. And um, it's simple creations example. Well, creation examples. No demo. Well, it makes sense for gallery and downloads. That's the only problem. Like those three that is uploaded media. Um, but maybe let's start with that. So. Uh, Common article. This is um, a good thing to do whenever I'm bored, I, be I believe. <coughs> so, common article. I'm very totally one. Uh, name will be uh, example article. Let's be using diacritics. Um, so it will have a name. I think we're not storing slug actually. Uh, it will have author and author smells uh, is going to be author at example.com uh, it's going to be a Approved. That's going to be true for everything, I believe. Um, this is going to be none. Uh, it, well, no voting yet. So let's leave it at null. Although I think it should probably potentially be set to zero. Um, that's a good point. Let me work on that later on. And we have a merge, so let's merge. And release it here. Um, is it really all nil? Hmm. But I think it's maybe true for unapproved articles because the problem there is that, um, yeah. 
Also, I think that, uh, by the way, the filtering approved and unapproved articles based on attribute is super bad uh, because that index has uh, bad selectivity. So it doesn't matter in those numbers, but otherwise, yeah, don't do this. Um, and let's be modern and actually add an auto. Uh, let's all make it anonymous to simplify the model for now. Uh, but uh, let's do an outer uh, that is. I don't have a user, and the only thing it has is Anonymous use Nick. Uh, and that is actually, let's make it clear that it's Anonymous. And it will have author type. This is all that's needed. Uh, now it should contain some text uh, to be actually representative. Um, so text. I'm thinking that um, before this is going to be actually used, uh, I should put in. Uh, we should, uh, yeah. I should put in um, the example encoded data uh, as in HTML, you know, encoded and misencoded <laughs> in a way we are doing. Uh, And I hope that the misunderstood text handles this well. I'm not sure. Well, one way to find out. Uh, so let's do that. And let's copy our rubrica. That's actually an interesting thought to ponder. Hmm. So the sites section, um, they're not explicitly defined. <laughs> they're also on the string based. So that is something to uh, think about whether to fix or not. Like, yeah, change. So we have this. Uh, so now I should be able to connect to show. We haven't been changing the migrations. So it's been connect to show. Um, and from these EZ models import outer, outer object. This, of course, ideally um, should be a script. Um, that's what I would be doing if I would be in a company. Also notice significantly less authors. <laughs> I don't know why. It's either that the script got killed earlier. Um, I don't know. Um, but um, that's it for today, or I mean for now. Uh, I hope to continue today. Let this run in the background, check on production, and then we'll move on to the rest of the ticket. So, see you soon.